guys what's up it's taylor and welcome back to my channel so for today's video we are going to be talking about my favorite thing ever netflix and i feel like i've gone through most of the good shows on netflix so if you guys have any recommendations then definitely let me know down below in the comments so yeah for today's video i thought that i would share with you guys my top 10 favorite shows to watch on netflix just in case you guys are in need of a new show to watch as well and also this is my second time trying to film this video and that's because nothing ever goes my way guys like i'm not even joking i think i filmed like all my recent videos two times and the reason why I'm filming this video twice is because I accidentally deleted one of the clips off my SD card and it was like my intro and like part of the video so I just had to refilm it also if you guys like this video then definitely give it a thumbs up for me and also subscribe to my channel if you guys are new so you guys can join the Tebe family and yeah let's just go ahead and get started with the video okay so the very first show that I have on here is Grey's Anatomy and oh my gosh you guys I love Grey's Anatomy so much I think it is like my all-time favorite show I started watching the show back in the summer of 2005 15 and it took me like three months to watch the whole series because I think whenever I watched it on Netflix there was 11 seasons and on TV now I think it's on like the 13th or 14th season which is actually crazy like that's a lot of seasons but yeah if you don't know Grey's Anatomy takes place in a hospital and it's about a whole bunch of people and there's different surgeries going on and like every episode's different like it's not just about the characters lives and the drama that goes on in their lives it's also about the patients too and there's like different patients every episode and I am just warning you guys if you guys start this show then definitely don't get attached to the characters like I did because this show is definitely an emotional roller coaster and that's pretty much all I'm gonna say okay so the next show that I have on here is Gossip Girl and oh my gosh you guys I love Gossip Girl so much and I'm actually re-watching it at the moment and if you guys don't know Gossip Girl actually takes place in New York and it's about a whole bunch of kids that are in high school and basically there's this Gossip Girl obviously because it's called Gossip Girl and basically Gossip Girl just spreads their drama and their lies and sometimes it's true and sometimes it's not you guys just have to watch it to see what it's about it's a really really good show and I definitely recommend watching it and also I just wanted to say it is definitely worth watching this show just to find out who Gossip Girl is and you find out who Gossip Girl is in the very last episode of the series okay so the third show is Stranger Things and I'm sure you guys have all seen this show most people have already watched it I actually was late to the game of watching this I actually didn't start watching this show until like the fall of 2017 which is like after the second season came out and the first season came out in 2016. I'm sure most people started watching the show when the first season came out and I saw the picture on Netflix every single time I got on Netflix and I was just like nope that show is not for me. Like I can't do scary or horror movies or TV shows like I just can't do it but I started watching the show anyways and I promise you guys after a couple episodes you guys will be hooked. Okay so the fourth show is 13 Reasons Why and if you guys have never seen this show then I definitely recommend watching it and the second season actually comes out. I can't remember the exact date I think it's like May 19th or something like that but yeah it's basically about this girl her name is Hannah and she commits suicide and then she like makes tapes before she actually kills herself and she leaves them behind for like the people who are actually the reasons why she killed herself so yeah the show is super sad and if you guys want to be on an emotional roller coaster then definitely watch this show because I promise you guys will definitely be emotional okay so the next show is The Flash and one of my managers at work he actually recommended that I watched this show so that's why I started it. I actually started it that night and I've been hooked like ever since. And if you guys are like a big comic book person then I promise you guys will definitely love this show because it's basically about this guy named Barry and he gets super speed so that's why they call him the Flash because he can run really fast and basically he just like saves the city from like evil speedsters and stuff like that. So if you guys like watching shows like this then definitely watch the Flash. Okay so the next show that I definitely recommend watching is is the Carrie Diaries. Now this show was super amazing but it made me so mad because there was only two seasons. I love the Carrie Diaries so much. Like I love the storyline. I love the characters. I love the cute relationships but the reason why it made me mad is because it ended so quickly. The first season was basically like the introduction of the characters and stuff like that and then the second season was actually the drama and then it just ended after the second season and that's what makes me so mad. Okay so the next show is Riverdale and I know pretty much everybody watches this show and it's like the most basic shows of all shows to watch. And whenever I first started watching Riverdale, it had just came to Netflix and I remember binge watching it in like a couple of days and that's how much I love that show. I just love the characters in this show so much and Cole Sprouse from The Sweet Life of Zack and Cody, which is my childhood, he is actually in this show. So if you guys have never seen Riverdale, which I'm sure you guys have because it's like the best show ever, then definitely go watch it because it's so good, guys. Okay, so the next show is The Fosters and I actually watched this on TV. TV. I didn't 
didn't watch it on Netflix, but it is on Netflix. So the Fosters is basically about this family and they adopt two kids and then later they become part of the family because they adopted them. And this show is just basically about all the characters' lives and everything like that. And I just think it's really cool to like see how they grew up and stuff before they were fostered. And by the way, this show is on ABC Family slash Freeform just like Pretty Little Liars was. And I know I'm going to get hate for saying this, but I love the Fosters way better than Pretty Little Liars. I don't know why. Don't get me wrong. I do love Pretty Little Liars, but just not as much as the Fosters. Okay, so the ninth show that I definitely recommend watching is Jane the Virgin. And whenever I first saw this show, I was like, hmm, Jane the Virgin. That's a really weird name for a show. Should I even watch it? And I started watching it and I was hooked after the first episode because Raphael, and if you guys don't know who Raphael is, watch the show because he is very hot. And basically this show is about a girl named Jane and she is a virgin, so she's never had sex before and she gets artificially inseminated. So basically she becomes pregnant without having sex and this show is just so good. And it's basically like a drama about her life and like all the characters' lives and it's just so good. And also it's like a mystery too. And this show is actually still on now and the last season that was on Netflix, like I got all caught up before it actually came back on TV. And then I watched like two episodes on TV and then I just stopped watching it because I'm gonna wait till it comes on Netflix and then I'm just gonna binge watch it. And if you guys have already seen Jane the Virgin, then I wanna know down below in the comments, are you guys team Jane and Raphael or team Jane and Michael? Because I am definitely team Jane and Raphael. Okay, so the very last show is called Santa Clarita Diet and basically why it's called this is because they live in a town called Santa Clarita. And if you guys love Drew Barrymore, then definitely watch this show because she is the main character and basically she turns into a zombie, but she doesn't actually look like a zombie. She looks like a normal human. And since she's a zombie, she eats people. So her and her husband, they go hunt people, but they only hunt the bad people. Actually, he technically doesn't hunt the people. She does. And the second season of the show actually just came out on Netflix a couple of weeks ago and I binged watched it in two days, guys. Like that's how much I love that show. So yeah, that was pretty much all for this video and I really hope that you guys enjoyed it. And if you guys did, then definitely give it a thumbs up for me and also subscribe to my channel if you guys are new to join the Tebe family. And you guys should definitely leave a comment down below and let me know what your guys' favorite Netflix show is at the moment because like I told you guys earlier, I am currently in need of a new show to watch. And yeah, I think that's pretty much all that I have to say for this outro. So I'm gonna go and I love you guys so much and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Bye.